Thanks for checking this video out, guys. My name is Philip Caldwell. You can follow me at DumpsterDiveFF on Twitter. Uh, reference to a really old fantasy football column that I haven't written in years. I have no idea why I haven't changed my handle. Anyway, I'm here back here with the Faceoff Sports Network, FFFaceoff.com. And uh, tonight I'm going to answer some Twitter questions that I've gotten. Uh, in this case, I want to give a shout out to Corrupt Sportage for asking whether or not he should go out and pick up Derek Carr when he's got Anthony Richardson already as his QB1. Uh, for this analysis, I'm going to go ahead and use our player analysis uh, tool and I'm going to use the QB comparison tab. I've got Derek Carr and Anthony Richardson already here selected. We can see all of their season long stats so far here. Uh, we can see a lot of the different breakdowns of things and their point uh, spread here. I'll explain this in a little bit. We can even see how their fantasy points are generated and what buckets of fantasy points you know they've done so far. Now we're only two weeks in, so there's not a whole lot to go with here. Uh, basically, you got Derek Carr is only you know he's been uh, lights out, just amazing uh, the first couple weeks, and for. Anthony Richardson, we got a little bit of a mixed bag over here. We got one week where he was, you know, zero to ten points, and another week where he was over twenty-five. So clearly, you know, Derek Carr has been more consistent so far this season. We can see that in the six point one consistency score versus four point two three. Also, his median points are just right there, right next to his floor and ceiling, twenty-one point five five. Now that's where it starts to get a little bit interesting, right? He's got a 21.8 max and a 21.3 minimum so far on the season. Whereas over here, we've got Anthony Richardson. 26.1 is his ceiling, his highest output so far. 9.9 .9, though is that, that floor right now. Now it would almost seem like Derek Carr is the better bet to go with just based off that. But remember, this is only two weeks into the season. That's not a lot of time. So I want to, you know, if I'm going to make a real educated analysis on these two players with only two weeks in this current offensive system, and even with Anthony Richardson, you know, even if we went back to 2023, we don't want to have a huge uh, sample size for him. So here I'm looking at how he these players are generating fantasy points. Now you can see with Derek Carr, most of it is via passing yards and passing touchdowns. Matter of fact, a vast, vast majority of it is via, was via passing touchdowns. Uh, whereas when we're looking over here at Anthony Richardson's, we've got a lot more area of this uh, radar chart. You know, yes, you've got passing yards. Yes, you've got passing touchdowns. But look at how different it is when it comes to rushing yards. Now, we all know that mobile quarterbacks are basically a cheat code. And that's what I'm seeing here with Anthony Richardson. He is able to create so much more with his legs that I think for the long run of the entire season, beyond just two weeks, he's got a much better chance at producing uh, consistent fantasy production because of what he brings to the game each and every week with his legs. Uh, and also we can see that his ceiling 26.1 is a lot higher than we than Derek Carr's 21.8. So after just two weeks of the season, I am not willing to throw Anthony Richards out onto waivers in order to pick up Derek Carr because I think on a week-to-week -week basis when we see the full season play out, Anthony Richardson is going to be by and far the better fantasy quarterback for your team. Uh, again, I hope you guys like this video. I hope this helps. I hope this also helps explain how we use some of these tools, how you can use some of these tools to do your own analysis and digging. Um, again, that's fffaceoff.com. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ping me on Twitter or X or Twix, whatever you want to call it. And that is at Dumpster Dive FF. Thank you very much.